active transport capable of lifting heavy payloads both into and out of short or unimproved airstrips, as well as providing aerial delivery. The aircraft is powered by four Rolls-Royce triple rocket engines, producing more than 18,000 shaft horsepower, allowing takeoffs from runways as short as 2,500 feet. The 22-pound scale model of BERT has a wingspan of 100 inches and is powered by four powerful electric motors, each motor being driven by a 5,000 milliamp lithium polymer battery. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Jones is now positioning Fat Albert behind the crowd on the right for the parade pass at under 50 feet at a scale airspeed approaching 300 miles per hour. From the right, Fat Albert Parade Pass. The real C-130 is capable of carrying a payload of 40,000 pounds at a top airspeed of 375 miles per hour at altitudes as high as 35,000 feet. This scale model of Fat Albert has retractable landing gear actuated by compressed nitrogen gas, functional flaps, and a rear loading ramp that can be opened and closed. The actual top speed of the model can approach 100 miles per hour and is capable of flying for more than 10 minutes on a fully charged battery. Tim Jones is positioning Fat Albert for a low altitude, high speed pass at a scale speed of 307 miles per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, from the left, Fat Albert fast pass. Um, I'm kind of confused. Did he see that there's some that electric yeah. engines now? Really? Yeah, they got electric. For the full scale Fat yeah. Albert is flown by the three pilots and enlisted air crew two flight engineers. 20 years? Okay. There's only 10 when my brother flew in his life, so it's been like 40 for me. Tim is now configuring Fat Albert for landing by extending the landing gear and lowering the flaps. Did they already start? Trying to visually confirm the gear and flaps are in the correct position. Okay, of course. Live eye is required from the right. They're real jets. Come earlier this time. Some of the some of the the old airplanes, the Warbirds, the Southlanders, they basically run off the left. Oh, really? Okay, welcome back now. You are clear to land. Oh, you're right, 1440. I checked it. All right, high and to the right. Tim is positioning Fat yeah, Albert for landing. Once Bert has cleared the trees, Tim will scout with a very sharp approach angle to simulate landing in mountainous terrain or a hostile environment. Ladies and gentlemen, proudly presenting the United States Marine Corps and the Navy Blue Angels. Here's Fat Albert. How about a round of applause for Walter and these guys for their Fat Albert skit? A little bit of practice and a script and it worked out well. They're trying to put Jado on it for next year, they said. A little rocket with this takeoff. With our luck with rockets, I don't know if it will go off. Alright, we got one more time scale warbird going up here, Fleet by point by the Costas. And then after that, we're going to move into our helicopter section. we got quite a bit of interesting helicopters for you today. We have a scale turbine-powered helicopter off on the left. It's out there in the hover area set up. We've got, I believe, a jet ranger. Retractable gear. And then we've got a 3D demo, which you'll really like. When I say 3D, the helicopter will not fly anything but level. 
It could take it will fly everything yeah. but level. Then it took off and it the one that looks like a bird. If you see it from the belly, it looks like a moon. Yeah. See the back of the yeah. 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 He looks like a moon. Yeah, we need a for dinner tonight. He looks like he's from the moon. There's an enterprise over there already. Little enterprise flight. Chase landed back. Okay, fleet on.